Hello and welcome back to Wall Street Training's Advanced Financial Modeling Course Enhancement to the Core Model. In this particular section, we will build a much more precise depreciation schedule based on the available information from a 10K filing. Recall that in our income statement from the core model module, we had simply estimated depreciation as a percent of revenue. What we will do here is to actually try to estimate the net balances of our assets, specifically our net property plant equipment, our net pp &E. We will try to then figure out what the remaining average, remaining life of these net assets are and then depreciate that throughout our projection period. That will then estimate our existing pp &E and its associated future depreciation. We will also incorporate our capital expenditures that we had estimated in a cash flow from investing section of our cash flow statement. And then we will make a life estimate of how long those will be and then depreciate those also throughout the life of our projection period. Let's now turn to our Excel to take a look at how this Let's file now add all of our previous depreciation expenses. I'm going to go to I-31 through M-31 so I don't have to hit Control r later. I'm going to zoom in on this and I want you to say the following. The total depreciation expense will consist of the three existing items, buildings, fixtures, and transportation, plus this new CapEx number. So in I-31, I want you to say equals negative. I'm going to hit Control up arrow until I get to I-10, and I hit up arrow to I-9. Then I'm going to say minus, go up to I-14, minus I-19, plus I-29, and then hit Control enter Let me zoom this out for you. I did not hit the Control enter so I will Control r that. I-9, negative I-9, because those were negative numbers, minus I-14, minus I-19 plus I-29, you should have 49, 41, 55, 43, 61, 17, 67, 28, 73, 77. You have now completed your depreciation schedule. I'm going to zoom out this little bit and then I'm going to go back to the income statement. Go back to the income statement to compare this number. Control shift less than sign. Get you to the historical tab. Control page down to the income statement. And I want you to go to cell I-45 on your income statement. Now we're not going to update these numbers yet because again, just for purposes of this training module, I want to keep our numbers constant the same so we're looking at the same numbers. But of course you would actually update your numbers in the real numbers like the sales and here in depreciation. Go to A45, just compare this. And we type in the following words, from depreciation schedule. From depreciation schedule in A35. Then I want you to go to I43 and say equals. Control page down, one, two, three, four, five, six times the depreciation schedule and get yourself to that I-31. And then I want you to take that shift right arrow through to column M. And take a look at your numbers, folks. 51 versus 4,900. 56 versus 55, very close. 61, very, very close. 66, 67, a little bit further apart, but 50 bucks. And then 72 and 73. So clearly you can see here that again, we have a much more precise buildup of our depreciation schedule. And it was not too far apart from our initial estimate using the simple percent of revenue. We're now just about done with our depreciation schedule. Actually, we are done with our depreciation schedule. So hopefully you got a taste of, again, understanding the level of precision and how much more detail you can actually get into every single number on your income statement, balance sheet, and your cash flow statement. Thank you very much. Our next, next section will be our credit and leverage statistics ratio, followed by our reference range and our football field. I'll see you shortly.